It is amazing what a difference a visual blind can make. So, I think both these birds were distracted by the birds in the next cage. And I was beginning to worry that they weren't bonding properly because she's already in the box. That's what that little piece of tape says. But the minute I put up that visual blind, she went straight to her little pie boy and started asking to be fed. That's an acknowledgement. You're my mate. Feed me. I'm making you eggs. And these two are both kind of randomly looking over at the other cage, but look at him. Now, he's aggressively flirting, so I'm going to have to watch him and see what's going on. Because so it's kind of, um, he hasn't really bullied her that far. Um, but his attention has gone completely onto her. That's real aggressive breeding behavior. So, um, she's not ready for that. The thing is, he's a really big, solid cock. I'm kind of worried that he might beat her up. But, um, she doesn't look like she's in trouble yet. And I put the visual barrier up here, and she's no longer chase, trying to chase Chalk away. She's now, keeps looking at the blank wall, like, wasn't there something there? I don't know. And now she's letting Chalk dance around her. I'm not going to leave her in. I'm going to pull her back out again and put her back in tomorrow. Um, but she's definitely, she's been, wa she's checked over the whole wall over there. She the, the blind goes all the way to the back instead of just halfway now. And she's been checking it out, walking the perimeter, climbing up to the top, trying to see over it. And she can't. So now, uh, these birds are, these animals are very, very visual. So now she's like, well, I guess she's gone. So I'm going to let her check out the box and talk for a little while. And then I'm going to put her back out in the flight cage and put her back in tomorrow. Give her another day of on her own. But she's, the aggression has kind of melted away because she can't see any other cock to choose from. So she's still just kind of wondering, what the heck? I thought there was somebody else here somewhere. And in the meantime, while Chalk's sitting in here by himself, he has thoroughly claimed that box. It is his. He literally sits on the floor of the cage in front of the hole to make sure nobody else gets in it. And he's just waiting for his hen to show up. So, I'm going to pull her and put her back out again and stick her in tomorrow. And I'm going to watch these two to make sure he doesn't go all rando aggressive on her. But things have definitely, all of a sudden, their focus has turned towards the, the birds in the cage. Um, I think perhaps he was interested in the neighbors because they were breeding already. And this hen isn't letting him breed right away. So he wanted to go over there and jump in on that. He's um, a fairly dominant cock, high ranking. So when hens out in the flight cage decide they're ready for it, he's probably one of the first ones to, to win out because he can drive all the other males away. So that might have been why they were so distracted. But do you see him looking at the barrier there? He's like, there was another girl over there somewhere. But there's one in here. We'll take her. <laughs> but she's not um, just going to roll over. I don't. I haven't seen her in the nest box yet or anything. So he may get a hard lesson or two before he realizes he has to woo the girl. So she's not just going to take him on. He's a big boy. He is not a small bird. He's big. These two are cracking me up. She's ready around to go. He he isn't quite there yet. He doesn't know what he's supposed to do. So she's giving him hints and chasing him around. And he, he'll figure it out in the next day or two. But it's always kind of funny to me. The first timers, they just don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean... I keep them in community flights, so they've seen their parents breeding before and that kind of thing, but, you know, when it comes their turn, they, they definitely have to work their way up to it. So she's back in the box, and Chalk is hopeful. And I'm going to pull her and make her go back out to the flight cage and beat everybody up for another day, and then come back again 
because I don't trust her to, to go south on him again yet. And the minute you get to the point where one of them is actually beating up the other one, when you get to that level of rejection, there's no turning it around. So I want to make sure she doesn't get there. She's pulled his feathers and, you know, nibbled at him and pecked at him and kind of pushed him away, but she's never really attacked him. And I want to make sure she doesn't go there because I really want this pair to breed. And I have all the time in the world, Miss Fang. So, yeah. See, he keeps alternating between the... Well, there was a hen over there that wanted to breed. You're just spoiled, boy. Won't have to work for it this time. Okay. 